Good evening, I'm Jeff Lohr. Attorney General William Barr testified before a Senate panel today. He says he will not return for a House hearing tomorrow. Barr faced hours of pointed questions today. Democrats say he mischaracterized the Mueller report and that Barr has gone far too out of his way to defend the president. Republicans demanded answers on how the investigation began. But what got the most attention was a letter from the special counsel released just before the hearing. Here's Nancy Cordes. I said, Bob, what's with the letter? Attorney General William Barr downplayed today the newly revealed scolding from special counsel Robert Mueller, which came to Barr in the form of a letter in March. The letter's a bit snitty, and I think it was probably written by one of his staff people. Mueller complained that Barr's initial summary of Mueller's findings, quote, did not fully capture the context, nature, and substance of Mueller's then unreleased report. The resulting confusion, Mueller warned, threatens to undermine full public confidence in the outcome of the investigations. My concern is that that gave President Trump and his folks more than three weeks of an open field to say I was completely exonerated. It was a complete and total exoneration. Barr insisted today that his four-page memo was intentionally brief. My understanding was his concern was not the accuracy of the statement of the findings in my letter, but that he wanted more out there to provide additional context. He couldn't decide about obstruction. You did. Is that correct? That's right. You feel good about your decision? Absolutely. Democrats argued it was yet another case of the attorney general tipping the scales in favor of his new boss. The White House fully cooperated with the special counsel's investigation. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy. So by instructing a former aide to tell the attorney general to unrecuse himself, shut down the investigation, and declare the president did nothing wrong, that's fully cooperating. Where is that in the report? That is on um, pay, uh, volume two, page five. Over and over today, Barr defended his decision not to charge the president with obstruction of justice, despite the 10 instances of interference laid out in the Mueller report. Do you think it's okay for a president to offer pardons to people who don't testify against him, to threaten the family of someone who does? Is that okay? Uh, what, when did he offer a, a pardon to someone? I think you know what I'm talking about. Truth. Please. What do you mean? Please, Please, Mr. Attorney General, you know, give us some credit for knowing what the hell is going on around here. Late this afternoon, Barr opted not to undergo a similar grilling in the House tomorrow. Democrats are now considering holding him in contempt of Congress. I understand why he wants to avoid that kind of scrutiny, but when push comes to shove, the administration cannot dictate the terms of our hearing in our hearing room. But tonight, House Republicans are accusing Democrats of torpedoing tomorrow's hearing themselves by demanding that Barr take questions from both lawmakers and staffers. Democrats say that the person they really want to hear from now is Robert Mueller. They've invited him to testify on May 15th, but, Jeff, they say they haven't gotten any confirmation yet. Okay, Nancy Cordes, thank you very much.